Be honest, is your math classroom a little bit too quiet? Like the students are waiting for you to tell them exactly what to do, exactly what to say, otherwise they're just quietly watching you. If the only voice the students are really listening to is yours, they're missing out on a huge opportunity. They're missing out on one of the most important parts of learning math, listening to each other. Too often, when a student shares out their strategy or a student shares out their answer, the student then restates it and rephrases for the students in the rest of the room, becoming the filter so that really only the students are listening to the teacher in the front of the room. Unfortunately, although the teacher's trying to help, what that's actually doing is taking the voice away from the students. Instead of being the filter for student thinking, try this instead. Rephrase. Have students rephrase for each other and say, can another student rephrase what that student just said? Don't do the rephrasing for the students. Or we can add on, which is a more advanced strategy that students can use too. Here, we can have one student build upon what the other student said. Who can add on to what they just said? Who can build upon that thinking? These two strategies actually help students to listen to each other and not have to filter through the teacher. If you want your students to do the thinking in classroom, the students listening to each other, we need to stop rephrasing what students are saying for them and instead have other students do that same work of rephrasing. Have other students build upon what other students said. This will help students to engage in listening to each other. Try it out in your math classroom.